How's it going, you outlaw legends? I am Red Nitrate, your resident Red Dead addict, and welcome to my Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay walkthrough part 62. So, last episode, we explored around our new uh, base of operations, Pronghorn Ranch, over here on the very western end of the map. And uh, yeah, this is where John and Abigail are staying at the moment. We're helping out the ranch owner in return for, well, you know, lodging, food, all the bare necessities. And uh, yeah, we've just been, been helping out where we can, really. Sort of been living that farm life. We've been putting up fences, we've been milking cows. Doing it old school. But as for today, we got a mission with Dave Geddes called Fatherhood for Beginners. So, uh, yeah, curious to check this out, see what it's all about. Damn it, Abe. Abe? I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Geddes, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost. Possibly more, a mare about to fall, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. So that's Mr. Geddes. That's the owner of the ranch that I was talking oh, about. Here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Because since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. <laughs> okay. I've done too much... <sighs> I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Huh? Maybe I could have handled them. <laughs> They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. He's visiting right. ladies of the evening. Just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. Ladies of the evening. Morning, All right, so we got to go and help a man with a horse. I think actually technically a kid with a horse, but still. I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. <laughs> Uh, okay, yes, yes, I do. He's about to trample you half to death. That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. It's relax, yeah, Jerry. We cool. Relax. We cool, Jerry. We cool. You done? Come on. Come on. You Come good? On. Easy boy. There you go. Come on. Someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <laughs> Calm down. Relax, relax. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Go on. We owe him that much. A bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. <laughs> we are here to uh, we are here to help uh, help fine. help out as much as we can anyway. So, may as well right, boy. may as well teach him what we can about horses. <laughs> it's one thing about ranching that I feel that uh, John knows a little bit about. He's he's pretty familiar with a horse. So we got to deplete Jeremiah's stamina to calm him enough for Duncan to ride. Yeah, Duncan kind of reminds me a bit of Jack. 
kind of got that that same sort of uh oh he's about the same age he's got like similar look to him so you know and poor johnny hasn't really had a chance to be there hasn't had a chance to be there for jack as much as he would have liked and so uh, i don't know maybe we can maybe we can get a bit of practice on old duncan here <laughs> Alright, so heading back to Duncan. Let's see if we can uh, get old Jerry here to relax for two freaking seconds. Not launch the poor kid into a tree. Where you're at, Duncan? I got a horse for you. Get back to Jeremiah. He's literally right there. He can't, can't navigate a gate. Right. <laughs> He's ready for you. Okay. Apparently you not. Go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but... You sure there isn't another horse? Can you ride around here? <laughs> I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. The aliases. Lancelot and Jim Milton. I love it. They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns. Out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. <laughs> kind of got your hands full already, kid. <laughs> I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. He's got it, he's got it. Like, old Jerry there was acting like he'd had a... Shot a roid straight up the butt right before we got to him. <laughs> he sees a lot completely different whores now. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. <laughs> yeah, he's doing great. Horse was an absolute maniac when we got to him. So. Uh, what can I diddly do so, you for? You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not a thing. Not too much. Oh my God. Where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town. And it ain't hunting for hands. So I hear. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for mm. where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Stick a hand in there. It's all good. <laughs> it's a bit of finger stuff, you know? We're good. Uh... Got him. Okay, now hold on. Its legs will be there. <laughs> They're almost out. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? 
I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. <laughs> uh, too busy for social calls. <laughs> of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. I think she was hitting on our boy Jim Milton over here. <laughs> Looking to get all warm and cozy. She uh she ejected herself right quick when she found out <laughs> that John Boy was married, didn't she? Oh lord, that was a little bit awkward. We better, we're like, we're trying to be a good rancher. We're not, we're, we're trying not to piss off the bosses. So we better, like, we better close up the gate. We don't want all the horses getting out. And get us fired in our first week here. We're going to be a rancher extraordinaire, ladies and gentlemen. Just you watch. It's going to happen. Hey, John. Jim. I'm sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You've been through a lot. No. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Looked a little begrudging about it. I was like, come on, John. Like, <laughs> it's been a minute since you spent some time with Jack. You haven't out Duncan before. Why not Jack? <laughs> I love you, but. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. <laughs> You're... Stay calm. I guess it was more Jack that was begrudging then. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know, but maybe that stream. Good idea. And you know all this. Huh. Get him going. Come on. You know. It's crazy. Last time we rode with Jack was when he was on the on the front of Arthur's horse. Okay. Uh huh. Definitely too small to. Yep. To sort of ride by himself then. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. So much time's passed. It's crazy. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick. Yeah. There you go. You got it. Oh, uh, well, he's doing pretty good. I can go a little bit faster. See? Hey, there you go. What the? <laughs> Out here wrecking birds left and right. Just flew right, right in front of me. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. I can even handle a little bit faster. Even faster, come on. Faster? Yeah, come on, you got this, mate. Yeah, look at him go. Little Jackington. Jackington of yore. How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. Looking like a proper little gunslinger. I'm so proud of you. See if he can go any faster. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yes, sir. 
Wait for wait for Jack, dude. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> you mean like cut straight across? It'll leave him without me. Yeah, I'm trying to be all nice and stuff. Really, I should have been acting real. Alright, bro, we tried to leave me. You've seen the stream? Let's go. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. Love these missions with Jack. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Oh, 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 hey, you didn't really wait for me to get turned around. I don't really feel that that's fair, Jack. Well, like, I mean, let's be honest. We, we could whip the absolute pants off Jack at this stage. I mean, even the size difference alone... Uh, like between our horses is uh, <laughs> significant. I think I could do about three strides for every one of his. Um, so with that in mind, I think like we're going to do the the fatherly thing here, and we're going to let him win. Because I think that's that's sweet. I think like last time I did this mission, I like charged off in front of him and like missed all the dialogue, and I was just a complete dick about it. <laughs> This time, I'm kind of curious to see what happens if you try all back. Well, John's trying to learn to be a better father, you know, and I feel like that's something that, that a good dad would do. <laughs> yeah, you're beating me. You're beating me. All on, you're lonesome. Whoa! That pronghorn just couldn't have given a toss, could he? He, like, rode straight past him. He didn't even get up. And away with the animals. Jim Milton, a.k.a. Dr. Doolittle, up in this. I beat you! I beat you! I <laughs> beat you! Well ridden, son. You sure did, mate. I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. <laughs> That's awesome. Never had that dialogue before. That's so cool. Investigate the disturbance. What disturbance? Just like kicked oh, into another good. mission. I was getting to that, sir. Oh, it's up here. <laughs> oh, that was cool. We got a bit of got an extra line with Jack. I was so cool, though. He was so proud of himself. Oh, my lord. Settle the frick down, Melon Chunk. What's going on here? You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, fancy parents get he's paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. <laughs> oh, he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real fun. I think you want to mess with this ranch hand, man. <laughs> oh, it's on now, boy. Come on, boy. Oh. <laughs> when was the last time you had a bath? <laughs> I'll do it after this, after I've covered myself in your blood. <laughs> yeah, I think he might. He's not doing so, Flash. Oh, what? <laughs> Getting ripped off by Abigail. I'll give you that. How's your wife in a brawl? Well, she whoop you good and proper. Oh, she's real pretty. Yeah. Guarantee you that. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, you're married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> As opposed to you, you a real winner in this situation? Question mark. Alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. 
plenty. Come on, Abigail. Like, <laughs> I love you, but like, yeah, John I and mean, Jim, he's doing his best. He's, he has been hired as a ranch hand. He's not been hired as muscle. It's just, it's the old west. Things come up. He's paid to help out. Eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Oh, wow. Really? Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of Really cool little line with Dutch there. You toad. Hello. Smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Alright, well. That's that done. Um, <laughs> obviously there's something... Something going on over here. So we got, uh, Jim Milton rides again. And fatherhood for idiots. Well, I think we'll probably check those out in the next episode. Um, hopefully you did enjoy this one. Really, really curious to see what happens in future missions. Um, but yeah, if you're looking forward to that one and, uh, you enjoyed this one, <laughs> make sure you slap a like down below. And if you're new around here, definitely think about subscribing as well. I do, uh, guides, live streams, let's plays. Anything Red Dead 2 story mode related, I do it. So, uh, yeah, join up and uh, become a member of the community. Uh, but, yeah, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Red Nitrate. Stay legendary, everyone. Bye now.